Welcome gardening fans. So uh, I'm going to take you through a video I shot today of Clethra alnifolia in my pollinator garden. So what we're looking at here is the Clethra alnifolia ruby spice. Um, so this is also called summer sweet. And I shot this uh, in July on a July afternoon. It was a little sunny and the exposure may be somewhat off here, but um, I think it captures what I was looking for. But what, what we uh, have here uh, is a shot I'm taking from, I was kind of like kneeling down here, but what we have are some different plants and stuff in this little garden. So we have right there is a um, butterfly bush. Woodlia butter, butterfly bush. I don't really recall the, the full name, and I have some lavender. But this Clethra alnifolia ruby spice, I bought it. It was about two feet tall in a pot, and it's grown about a foot so far. And I planted it, I don't know, maybe about six weeks ago, and now it's actually starting to flower. Which the best part of this particular plant is the fragrance, right? So it smells really nice and not very strong smelling but if you sit within two to you know about six feet away and you can smell it pretty pretty uh, easily so here's a close-up of some of the flowers on it and so it's kind of a pinkish flower and the bees really like it a lot they've been um, just jumping from one flower to, to, to the next which is kind of cool watching them. So, Clethra Alnifolia Ruby Spice. Now, the name Clethra is comes from the Greek word Clethra, which means is the name for alder. So, the, the leaves of this plant look like the alder tree. Now, this plant can grow from Maine to Florida and west to Texas. It grows to about three to six feet tall and um, it can get up to eight feet right but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how tall mine will get if it gets up to six feet I might consider it consider planting it along some of those fences uh, in my backyard to get a get some privacy so the flowers are, are very attractive to bees also butterflies but I haven't seen too many butterflies on it so far. So the upright panicles, racemes, uh, grow from two inches to six inches long and, and the flowers will give way to a dark brown seed capsule which may persist into winter. There's my uh, butterfly bush which is, I'm surprised it's actually leafing out. It's too very late in the season for, for it but I'm hoping it'll recover and I'll have a, a butterfly bush again next season. But anyway, that that's uh, the video here of my Clethra alnifolia. Thanks.